Today, we are going to go over the basics of the Visu Plus Express program. We are going to cover some important icons and buttons that you need to know and how to start a new project via the Project Wizard. Right now, I have a completely blank Visu Plus screen open, no project started, no basic screens open, completely blank, and we are going to start by starting our new project with the Project Wizard. There are actually three ways that you can get to the Project Wizard and start a new project. The first one is on the left hand side of the screen. If we look at our Project Explorer, all the way here at the bottom, under Commands, you see New Project. We click on that, that brings up our wizard. At the very top of the screen, you can go to File, New, that also brings up our wizard. And right under the File button, there's a small little piece of paper icon here that you can click on that also starts a new project. Either one of those three work, they all take you to the same project wizard. Once we have the wizard open, we have our first screen, which is the main Create Project screen. Here we can choose some basics for the project. We can name it. I'll just name it Screen Demo for this purpose. Under that, you get to choose your Windows CE platform, which is going to be the HMI that you're exporting to. There are many different options in here. I personally, in this application, am using a 7-inch display, so I'm going to choose the TP3070W, but you can choose whatever you're going to be using. Once you choose your CE platform, it's going to default the screen width, height, and color, so you don't have to worry about changing that. We're going to hit Next now, and we're going to come into the Project Components screen. This is where you're going to see the different screens that you can add to your project. The program defaults to adding four basic screens, and that's it. But no matter what kind of screen you're adding, whether it be basic screen, alarm screen, log, or trend, you have the ability in all of them to add as many screens as you like from 1 to 10. In all of them, you have the option to add that many. And then in all of the four screens, you also have the ability to define their names. So if we want to come in here, we can choose alarm screen 1, and we can call it our e-stop screen. We also have the ability to come up. We confirm that, exit, we can come up to basic screens, we can define screen 2 as tank screen. Confirm and exit. In all four of the different types of screens, you can go in and define the names of any of the screens you've created in there. So once we've chose what kind of screens we want to add to the project, we can hit next. And we're going to come into the screen design, the last page of the project wizard. In here, we can choose a couple different aspects of the screen. It's going to default to adding just a navigation bar and screen title. The navigation bar, if you see here on the right hand side, can show up on the bottom, the left, or the right, as you can see the preview changing there as I change it. And that's going to have your different screen icons that you can click and navigate through. You can put that wherever you would like, or you could get rid of it completely. We can add logos to the top of the screen. If you look here in the logo image and position, we can go top left or top right. Any kind of logo you would like, depending on your application. And you can actually choose that logo directly from files on your computer by clicking this button and it takes you into your libraries in your computer and you can choose a logo. Again, we're going to leave the logo out for this demonstration. A screen title is rather self-explanatory. On the previous screen where we were choosing our titles, you can choose whether or not you would like that title show up at the top of the screen or not. As you can see, when I uncheck it, the title goes away. Buttons, previous and next, are going to show up in the bottom navigation bar and instead of clicking from screen 1 to screen 2 to screen 3 and vice versa or so on and so forth, you can just click the previous and next button and it will take you to the one right ahead or right behind the current screen. You can also add a status bar at the bottom. I'll check that and we'll throw that into our screen. The bottom, it shows any kind of information that's happening, any alarms going off, it gives you that information at the bottom of the screen. So now that we've chosen everything we want for our project, we can come down here and hit finish and it's going to create our project. You can see here on the left hand side, this is our project explorer and that's where we're going to have all of the important aspects for our project. Our alarms, data logger, events, networking, OPC, real time database, and screens is all on this side and all of them can be expanded for more options for whatever we might need. Right now we're going to go ahead and open the screens that we've created. So next to the screens, there's a little plus button to expand it, and we'll open the first screen for now. And this is what the screen looks like when you open it. I'll actually open up a second screen, and you can see now here, if I come to the top, I can navigate between the two screens by clicking back and forth. And once we're in the screen, on the right-hand side over here, we're going to have a couple things come up. We have our toolbox, our symbol libraries, and our properties. 
All these are very important aspects of the program that you're going to be using very heavily once you get into creating your screens. So it's very nice to have them over here. If there's not over here, you can come up to your View tab, click on that, hover over the drop down arrow, and now everything here, if it's not showing up, you can choose it and it will show up on the side. Once you have something over here, including the Project Explorer, you have the ability to leave it like it is right now where when it's being hovered over and used it's there but when you pull your mouse away it goes away but if we come here right next to the exit button and we pin it it's going to stay there permanently so when I take my mouse away and I'm over here in the project explorer or on the screen it still stays up and then we can unpin it and it's going to go back to just coming up when our screens over it you can also come to the left and do that with your project explorer right now it's pinned so it stays but if I want to unpin it it now will come out only when I'm accessing it. If we want to zoom in or out on our screen, at the bottom right-ish of the screen down here you see the magnifying glass. We can double click on that. There's some preset zooms between 20 and 400. If we go all the way down to 20, you can see it's very small. And if we come all the way up to 400% or 200%, it's very big. So if we, def if we just go to the default 100%, it's normally okay, but if you would like to zoom in or out for whatever reason, that would be where you access it. Some other very important tools that are going to be up here in the top ribbon are what we call our microwave buttons. And they are going to be where you can access your importing or exporting to your HMI device. So right here on the left hand side, you can click on that, and this is where we can download a device project from a TCP. Right now I'm not hooked up to any, so it's not showing it, but if you were hooked up, you could enter the server and get a project from that device. Right here in the middle, there's two more microwave buttons. The first is your device control, where if you are connected to a device when you, the preliminary connection, you can come in and read the device info, get information about it, update firmware, make sure that the connection is running properly. We'll close out of that, and right next to that is where you can upload your project that you create in Visu Plus to your HMI. Again, I don't have anything connected right now, so we're not able to upload any projects. We'll touch on that in another video, but this is where you would upload the demos, or the, I'm sorry, the projects once you're finished with them. So we'll close out of that. And then once you begin to put stuff on your screen, I'll just throw a button real quick on the screen just so we can see something on it. Once you begin to get stuff going on your screens and you want to see how they're going to look and function on the actual HMI, we come up here to the top, the green play button, and we can start our project simulation. We're going to want to save our changes. And once we're in here, we can hit OK, and this is what the screens are going to look like on your actual HMI. We have the button right here that isn't connected to anything right now, so it won't do anything, but this is what it's going to look like. And as I touched on earlier in the project wizard, here are your navigation buttons. If we just click between our different, different screens, you can see it takes them. And here on the far right hand side, we have forward and backward where we can just go forward and backward between the screens. Down here is our status bar that we added on the last page of the wizard. We can see the date, time, last alarm, some RAM memory in use, and that's where it shows us information about what's going on on our different screens. If we come up here to the top, we can hit this red button to go back to design mode, or we can hit Alt F12 on our keyboard. Either will take you out of the, uh, I'm sorry, simulation mode and back into the design mode. Whenever you need to save your project, you have the option to go to File, Save, or you can come up right here to these two little floppy disks and click that to save. So that is a basic tour of Visu Plus Express.